Good morning and welcome to St David's Church in the Kingsthorpe Team Ministry for an act of remembrance. Remembrance Sunday holds a special place in the hearts of this nation, a time when we come together to remember those who gave their lives for our freedom, justice and peace. This year we're not able to stand together in church or at the Cenotaph, so instead I invite you to join with me in this short act of remembrance. We meet in the presence of God. We commit ourselves to work in penitence and faith for reconciliation between the nations, that all people may together live in freedom, justice and peace. We pray for all who in bereavement, disability and pain continue to suffer the consequences of fighting and terror. We remember with thanksgiving and sorrow those whose lives in world wars and conflicts, past and present, have been given and taken away. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them.
Let us pray. Ever living God, we remember those whom you have gathered from the storm of war into the peace of your presence. May that same peace calm our fears, bring injustice to all peoples, and establish harmony among the nations. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray for all who suffer as a result of conflict and ask that God may give them peace. We pray for service men and women who have died in the violence of war, each one remembered by and known by God. May God give peace. For those who love them in death as in life, offering the distress of our grief and the sadness of our loss. May God give peace. For all members of the armed forces who are in danger this day, remembering family, friends and all who pray for their safe return, may God give peace. For civilian women, women and children and men, whose lives are disfigured by war or terror, calling to mind in penitence the anger and hatreds of humanity. May God give peace. For peacemakers and peacekeepers who seek to keep this world secure and free, may God give peace. For all who bear the burden and privilege of leadership, political, military and religious, asking for gifts of wisdom and resolve in the search for reconciliation and peace. May God give peace. O God of truth and justice, we hold before you those whose memory we treasure and those whose names we will never know. Help us to lift our eyes above the torment of this broken world and grant us the grace to pray for those who wish us harm. As we honour the past, may we put our faith in your future, for you are the source of life and hope, now and forever. Amen. I invite you to join me in the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.
the living grace, to the departed rest, to the church, the queen, the commonwealth and all people, unity, peace and concord, and to us and to all God's servants, life everlasting. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father,